A lot of celebrities travel around on huge super yachts, so it's no surprise that the queen and king of modern pop, Beyonce and Jay-Z, use a yacht much more impressive than pretty much anyone else in the world. For those who like to keep account of these things, today Jay-Z is worth $1.3 billion and Beyonce is worth over $500 million. Together they are one of the richest couples in the music industry, so most would assume that the two actually own a giant super yacht that's probably perfect for music videos or family vacations. Well, sorry to tell you this, but they don't actually own a yacht. They do charter one of the finest yachts to ever hit the water though. That would be the legendary Flying Fox. It is one of the finest super yachts available. The ship stretches out over 446 feet, making it literally one of the largest yachts in the entire world. Seriously, it's been ranked 14th. To put that in perspective, a football field is 300 feet, so this baby wouldn't even fit in one of those. It is capable of holding 22 guests in 11 cabins and 54 crew members in 25 cabins. The ship is also a speed demon, capable of hitting 20 knots. That is well above average for a yacht of this size. While the outside design of this so-called Giga Yacht is certainly striking, I think the interior is where it really shines. The use of natural wood throughout gives it an almost lived-in vibe. It truly looks like a home away from home. Well, for those whose homes are luxury mansions, that is. I mean, just look at the library this yacht has. Not many people go on a yacht to read, but just the fact that it has one makes it so much classier. As far as amenities go, this baby has been called the yacht equivalent of Disneyland. Now it doesn't have any cool Disney characters walking around, well aside from Beyonce herself who was in The Lion King. What it does have are plenty of cool features for both kids and adults. That includes a 12 meter swimming pool area, multiple swimming platforms for water sports, a two floor salon, a sun deck that converts into a dance floor lit by LED lights, a spa, a jacuzzi, and so much more. There's even a relaxation room at the bottom that will literally engulf you in seawater if you're into that sort of thing. As far as cool toys go, this yacht is stacked. It has two helipads which can accommodate massive helicopters each. Then there are jet skis, sea bobs, underwater sea scooters, and more. There's even a custom limousine that will drive you around once you hit land. The coolest toy Fox comes with by far is the little submersible. This baby has its own Triton submarine. This little craft alone is worth five million dollars. It's said to be a favorite of yacht chartering celebrities. I know I would want to give it a try. Just imagine Jay-Z and Beyonce taking a romantic trip under the waves together among the sea life and beautiful splendors of underwater nature. How has that not been made into a music video? Now the big question has to be asked. How much does a yacht like this cost? Well, if you had any dreams about saving up for it, allow me to destroy those real quick. This yacht is worth $400 million. That's not all either. The annual running cost for Fox is pretty eye-watering as well. Every year, it would run you like $40 million just to keep it going. Yeah, sorry, I don't think you're gonna be buying this anytime soon. Frankly, I can see why Beyonce and Jay-Z just charter it. So when it comes to vacationing with a yacht like the Flying Fox, obviously taking a ride on this baby is not gonna be cheap at all. I mean, obviously, chartering it is gonna be cheaper than $400 million, but that's not saying much. It's been reported that if you want to charter this beauty, it will run you a shocking $4 million per week. 
Just to put that in perspective for most well-to-do families out there, a seven-day Disney cruise will run like 10,000 bucks. So yeah, when Beyonce and Jay-Z vacation, they do it next level. Weirdly enough, despite the fact that this yacht is so often associated with arguably the most popular power couple in popular music, they aren't actually the ones most commonly associated with the flying fox. So who in the world could actually be more famous than Jay-Z and Beyonce? What about the former richest man in the world, founder of Amazon and Blue Origin himself, Jeff Bezos? While Bezos still has a fortune of 113.5 billion, he has actually dropped down to fourth place in the competition for the richest people in the world behind Elon Musk's 197.4 bill, Bernard Arnault's 159.3 bill, and Gautam Adani's 145.8 bill. Despite the fact that he is no longer the biggest real-life Lex Luthor in the world, he has vacationed so much on the Fox that it used to be commonly assumed that he was actually the owner. In fact, Amazon actually had to confirm that he wasn't the one who owned this baby. The rumor even went that he owned a small piece of the yacht for like 20% of its costs. Still, reports of any ownership have been greatly exaggerated. This largely happened because of the big accommodations that had to be made for the yacht during one of Bezos' vacations. The story goes that when he was vacationing in Rotterdam in the Netherlands with the Flying Fox, the ship was actually too large to fit under the bridge known colloquially as De Hef. Seeing as this was Jeff Bezos, they actually temporarily dismantled the bridge so that he would be able to pass. When people reported on this, they obviously didn't go with the yacht Bezos chartered for a week from an unknown owner. They just went with the bridge deconstructed for Jeff Bezos' yacht. It was cleaner. If you're disappointed that he doesn't have his own yacht, don't worry. Evidently, he's having a high-speed sailing yacht built just for him. I'm sure he's already looking forward to flying through the ocean on it, feeling the wind blow through his, well, scalp, I guess. So who is the guy that actually owns this yacht and rents it out to big-time celebrities like it's the fanciest Airbnb in the entire world? Well, let me introduce you to a guy named Dmitry Kamenchik. He is the owner of an airport in Russia. This enterprise has made him into a billionaire with over $2 billion in his account. That might not sound impressive comparatively, but just wait. Evidently, one day in 1992, Russian mobsters barged into this man's office and threatened him with a deadly weapon. Instead of acquiescing to their demands or crying under his desk, he literally jumped these fools who tried to intimidate him. What they didn't know was that he was actually a black belt. He was able to disarm both attackers and literally throw them out of his office, or so the legend goes. He then had to take on Vladimir Putin and the courts in order to remain the owner of one of the finest airports in the country. The man has supposedly taken on mobsters, terrorists, an army of lawyers, and even Vladimir Putin in order to keep this business going. If that's not cool enough for you, he also is said to be an amateur stunt pilot as well. This dude's life is basically one of those Liam Neeson action movies that drops on Netflix every three months or so. It's not all been fun and games for this super yacht, though. Remember a few months ago when several of the finest yachts in the world were being detained by countries for being owned by Russian oligarchs who were in some way allegedly contributing to or profiting off of the conflict in Ukraine? Well, the Flying Fox was among the ships on that list. It was actually taken in Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. The story goes that Homeland Security Investigations, or the HSI, boarded and searched through the vessel, though it's unclear exactly what they were looking for. It seems as though they didn't find anything because the ship was authorized to leave shortly thereafter. I'm not really sure if the owner was using it himself or if he had chartered it out to someone else. Though if Beyonce or Jay-Z were on vacation while the ship was detained at port, 
I'm pretty sure that would have been international news. I bet the music video she would have inevitably made about it would have been next level, like lemonade level. I do have to wonder if the authorities that boarded these super yachts took the time to snap a selfie or something while seizing them. I mean, these jobs can often be so boring and unforgiving, so getting the chance to go to work on the same yacht that Bezos and Beyonce vacation on has gotta be a great day. If I wasn't jealous of Beyonce or Bezos before, seeing how they vacation on adult Disneyland definitely clinches it. 